Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. This is Studio Plug and in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to mix and master. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the secret I use every time I mix and master. Um, it's not really a secret. I've showed you guys how to master on almost all of my videos. Anyway, before we start this video, make sure you guys are using some nice headphones for mixing and mastering or have some nice uh, studio monitors, uh, some nice speakers like Yamaha's SHA or, or some KRK Rocket 6s or, or whatever fits your style best. Me personally, I like to use headphones. I have the Audio-Technica M70s. I used to use the M50s, they are both great, but I'm gonna go ahead and use the M70s for this video. So I have everything leveled out already. If you don't know how to level your mix or EQ, I suggest to go watch my other videos where I show you guys how to do it. But for this video, it's just gonna be a quick master. So I'm gonna go ahead and play it from the hook since it plays most of the sounds all together on the hook most of the time. So let's go ahead and play it and show you guys how it sounds before I get into the mastering. So as you heard, everything is already leveled. So now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my secret that I use when I mix and master, or master for this case. So we're gonna go ahead and bring up Maximus. And um, before we actually do that, you guys can go ahead and put on an EQ and see how it is before you guys start getting into it. Um, this is how it looks. So what you guys can do is also take away some of the low end if you guys want. Um, for me, that's a preference uh, or you guys can follow the rules. A lot of other tutorials will recommend you to cut off the low end, um, but it's optional. It's not really necessary. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it around 20. And bring it about up about uh, one half right here. So the next thing we're going to do is just get into Maximus. Okay, so now that we're in Maximus, I'm going to go ahead and open up a preset and it will be Master 8. And this is how it sounds with Master 8 activated. So as you can hear, it brought up the sounds. Uh, it's a little bit more louder. So um, we're just going to get into a little bit of more detail and just edit it a bit. So it's not really that hard, so I'm going to show you guys how to do it and how to get that clean sound. So we'll start off with uh, the low end and start messing with the compression. So this is your compressor right here, and we're just going to mess with these control points. And we'll be able to determine where the threshold is by looking at this uh, graph. Okay, so you guys see right there, this is where the kick is knocking, it's peaking, and the 808 is more subtle. Uh, I remind you, this is the low end. Uh, I'm going to bring up the st stereo separation, just to bring it up to mono. Uh, that way, everything's centered, uh, since I don't have the 808 and the kicks or anything that's low end going left and right. So, now that I have it centered, the next thing I'm going to do is right click and drag this knob until it's uh, a little bit over the 808. So now I have it right there. The next thing I'm going to do is, hold well, on, I accidentally brought it up. So the next thing I'm going to do is just drop the top control point down just to give it more of a compression and have a little limiter to the kick. So as you can see, it brought it down a little bit more. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is go on to the next, which is the mids. So now with the mids, we're just going to bring it down just a little bit. Uh, I'll say like around 1, 1 dB. I'm also going to go ahead and solo it out and bring the stereo separation down to where I hear it best. So I'm going to leave it at 15. Next thing I'm going to do is bring the compression in as well by adding the control points. So go ahead and right click and get your point in there. So to pause this, all you got to do is click on it and from there you can see where you need to go. So this is using your ear and uh, visual learning for those that uh, don't really have an ear for music or for mixing and mastering. 
And I'm gonna bring this knob down as well just to bring that threshold and compress the mids. So I'm not gonna go ahead and overdo it and just leave it like that. Next thing I'm gonna do is mess with the highs. So the highs I'm not gonna over compress either, but I will mess with the stereo separation quick. So I brought it down to 25 as I like the hi-hats and the open hats uh, hitting the right and the left sides. So the next thing I'm gonna do is add the control points right here as we did for the mid and the low. So this is negative 24.7 dB and now I'm gonna bring the control point lower as well. If you over compress, it's gonna sound like it's sucking up the sound. So that's how you know if you're gonna be over compressing. So if it sounds like that, bring this knob higher and bring this one as well. Just mess with it until you find that right sound. This should usually be over all of the sounds. You will notice what sound is peaking as you've seen in the 808, in the kick, the mids and the highs. Like for instance, right here, the kick is hitting as well as the 808 and right here, the snare will be hitting. So for the master, we're not gonna mess with the stereo separation or mess with the compressor as we're just gonna leave it off. But what we will do is bring up the post. So let's go ahead and start bringing it up slowly and see where it fits best. So that is pretty much it on how to master my way. That's how I master my tracks whenever I get into it. Um, if you want to learn how to master some other type of way, you can always go to this little question mark. This will bring out the helper and go to the search index and just type in whatever you want. Say you want mastering. And once you search it, it'll show you what there is, le the levels, mixing, stereo, sa stereo shaper, maximus tutorials, and you can just click on them. Um, I don't really go by the rules. I kind of bend my own rules and uh, mix and master the way I do. But you guys can go ahead and do it the way you guys want. Um, but that's just my way of doing it. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys liked it, make sure to go ahead and subscribe, comment, like, give me some feedback. And also let me know what you guys would like to see next. Anyways, that is it for this video. Again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.